Okay, testing out the new pump that I installed. We installed, and uh, let's see what it does. Running nice and cool. Good. I replaced that because it was leaking like a sieve, like a waterfall. And we got 55 psi, or about 60 almost. I'd say it's about 60. That'd be 70, 80, 90. That's 60 psi. No leaks. All I've got to do now is detail this bad boy. Make it look nice. Looks good. You actually did make the quill move, didn't you? Okay. Yeah, I'm zeroing it out. I'll get out of the way so I don't want to get smashed. <laughs> so that zeroes it out right there. Moving it all the way back on the Y axis. Yeah, we're going all the way to the limit. Do that every morning? that driver built, tested and rebuilt. Excellent. Works. There's the quill. How much travel does that thing have, do you think? Yeah, why not? I'd like to know. That way I didn't mislead Ron. So I asked him to reprogram the, the Z into the quill. Because that will really save a lot of energy wear and tear too. It's always nice to try to spread the uh, forces and wear across the entire machine instead of just one or two things, you know. Because you can actually wear out a ball screw on one axis more than the other. There it goes. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. That kind of makes a funny noise, huh, on the way down? You're jogging it with the jog wheel, huh? I see. Right. That's the software limit right there? Yeah. Without throwing any alarms, right? Yeah. No alarms. We don't want an alarm. We're good, right? Okay, excellent. So that is about how much? That's plenty. If you're cutting, even if you're half down and you're slotting and you're doing some milling, whatever, it's plenty rigid, not going to hurt that, that joint. Now that joint actually has a gimbal in it, right? So it can actually swivel around? Or is it just straight up and down? It doesn't gimbal? Because it almost looks like it has a gimbal, like it could actually rock back and forth. I thought it could actually, you know, do some of this. No? I think it might. So I just don't know if that's... Well, I mean, you're going to lock it regardless. If you're slotting something and you extend it down, it's going to lock. Okay, great. Yeah, you can go ahead and retract that because that's... Even at halfway down, you still have plenty of retraction to remove your collet. How much distance do you need to remove your collet comfortably? Depends on how tall the collet is. Oh, the tool. The protrusion of your yeah, it all, it all cutting. Yeah, depends on how... I see, yeah. Uh, but around six inches. Okay. Six to nine inches. That hopefully should be comfortable enough, yeah. Okay, great. 